Onionenium, also known as Acafrancium or simply element 119, is the hypothetical chemical element with symbol Uwe and atomic number 119. Onionenium and Uwe are the temporary systematic IUPAC name and symbol respectively, until a permanent name is decided upon. In the periodic table of the elements, it is expected to be an S-block element, an alkali metal, and the first element in the eighth period. It is the lightest element that has not yet been synthesized. Experiments aimed at the synthesis of onionenium began in December 2017 at Riken in Japan. Another attempt by the team at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research at Dubna, Russia is scheduled to begin in 2019. Prior to this, two unsuccessful attempts had been made to synthesize onionenium, one by an American team and one by a German team. Theoretical and experimental evidence has shown that the synthesis of onionenium would likely be far more difficult than that of the previous elements, and it may even be one of the last two elements with unbinylium that can be synthesized with current technology. Onionenium's position as the seventh alkali metal suggests that it would have similar properties to its lighter congeners, lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium, however, relativistic effects may cause some of its properties to differ from those expected from a straight application of periodic trends. For example, onionenium is expected to be less reactive than cesium and francium and to be closer in behavior to potassium or rubidium, and while it should show the characteristic plus 1 oxidation state of the alkali metals, it is also predicted to show the plus 3 oxidation state unknown in any other alkali metal. History Superheavy elements are produced by nuclear fusion. These fusion reactions can be divided into hot and cold fusion, depending on the excitation energy of the compound nucleus produced. In hot fusion reactions, very light, high-energy projectiles are accelerated toward very heavy targets actinides, giving rise to compound nuclei at high excitation energy approximately 40 to 50 MeV that may fission, or alternatively evaporate several 3 to 5 neutrons. In cold fusion reactions which use heavier projectiles, typically from the fourth period, and lighter targets, usually lead and bismuth, the fused nuclei produced have a relatively low excitation energy approximately 10 to 20 MeV, which decreases the probability that these products will undergo fission reactions. As the fused nuclei cool to the ground state, they require emission of only one or two neutrons. However, hot fusion reactions tend to produce more neutron-rich products because the actinides have the highest neutron-to-proton ratios of any elements that can presently be made in macroscopic quantities. Onionenium and unbinylium elements 119 and 120 are the lightest elements that have not yet been synthesized, and attempts to synthesize them would push the limits of current technology due to the decreasing cross-sections of the production reactions and their probably short half-lives, expected to be on the order of microseconds. Elements beyond unbionium element 121 would likely be too short-lived to be detected with current technology, they would decay within a microsecond, before reaching the detectors. The possibility of detection of elements 121 through 124 depends greatly on the theoretical model being used, as their half-lives are predicted to be very close to the one microsecond border. Previously, important help characterized as silver bullets. In the synthesis of superheavy elements came from the deformed nuclear shells around hassium-270 which increased the stability of surrounding nuclei, and the existence of the quasi-stable neutron-rich isotope calcium-48 which could be used as a projectile to produce more neutron-rich isotopes of superheavy elements. The more neutron-rich a superheavy nuclide is, the closer it is expected to be to the sought-after island of stability. Even so, the synthesized isotopes still have fewer neutrons than those expected to be in the island of stability. Furthermore, using calcium-48 to synthesize onionenium would require a target of einsteinium-253 or minus-254, which is very difficult to produce in sufficiently large quantities only micrograms are presently available, in comparison, milligrams of berkelium and californium are available. More practical production of further superheavy elements would require projectiles heavier than 48 ca. Synthesis attempts Past 
The synthesis of unionanium was first attempted in 1985 by bombarding a target of Einsteinium-254 with calcium-48 ions at the Superhylac Accelerator at Berkeley, California. 25,499 S plus 4,820 CA 302,119 UA asterisk no atoms no atoms were identified, leading to a limiting cross section of 300 NB. Later calculations suggest that the cross section of the 3N reaction, which would result in 299 UA and 3 neutrons as products, would actually be 600,000 times lower than this upper bound at 0.5 pb. As unionanium is the lightest undiscovered element, it has been the target of synthesis experiments by both German and Russian teams in recent years. The Russian experiments were conducted in 2011, and no results were released, strongly implying that no unionanium atoms were identified. From April to September 2012, an attempt to synthesize the isotopes 295 UA and 296 UA was made by bombarding a target of berkelium-249 with titanium-50 at the GSI Helmholtz Center for Heavy Ion Research in Darmstadt, Germany. Based on the theoretically predicted cross-section, it was expected that an unionanium atom would be synthesized within five months of the beginning of the experiment. 24,997 BK plus 5,022 T 299,119 UA asterisk 296,119 UA plus 3 10 N 24,997 BK plus 5,022 T 295,119UA asterisk 295,119UA plus 4 10 NTHE experiment was originally planned to continue to November 2012, but was stopped early to make use of the 249 BK target to confirm the synthesis of tenosine, thus changing the projectiles to 48 CA. This reaction between 249 BK and 50 T was predicted to be the most favorable practical reaction for formation of unionanium, as it is rather asymmetrical, though also somewhat cold. The reaction between 254 S and 48 Ca would be superior, but preparing milligram quantities of 254 S for a target is difficult, nevertheless, the necessary change from the silver bullet. 48 Ca to 50 T divides the expected yield of ununanium by about 20, as the yield is strongly dependent on the asymmetry of the fusion reaction. Due to the predicted short half lives, the GSI team used new, fast electronics capable of registering decay events within microseconds. No ununanium atoms were identified, implying a limiting cross section of 70 Fb. The predicted actual cross section is around 40 Fb, which is at the limits of current technology present. The team at Riken began bombarding 248 cm targets with a vanadium beam in December 2017 to search for element 119. The 248 cm targets were provided by Oak Ridge National Laboratory, which had provided the necessary 249 BK target from the synthesis of tenosine element 117 at Dubna. The Riken experiment began by being conducted at a cyclotron while it upgrades its linear accelerators, before continuing the bombardment with both machines until the first event is observed. Enio predicted that elements 119 and 120 would probably be discovered by 2022. 24,896 cm plus 5,123 volts 299,119 UA asterisk 296,119 UA plus 310 N 24,896 cm plus 5,123 volts 299,119 UA asterisk 295,119 UA plus 410 N planned. The team at the Joint Institute for Nuclear Research in Dubna, Russia, is planning to begin new experiments on the synthesis of ununanium using the 249 BK plus 5OT reaction in 2019 using a new experimental complex. The laboratories at Riken in Japan and at the JINR in Russia are best suited to these experiments as they are the only ones in the world where long beam times are accessible for reactions with such low predicted cross sections. Naming 
Using Mendeleev's nomenclature for unnamed and undiscovered elements, unionenium should be known as Aca francium. Using the 1979 IUPAC recommendations, the element should be temporarily called unionenium symbol until it is discovered, the discovery is confirmed, and a permanent name chosen. Although widely used in the chemical community on all levels, from chemistry classrooms to advanced textbooks, the recommendations are mostly ignored among scientists who work theoretically or experimentally on superheavy elements, who call it element 119. With the symbol E119, 119, or 119. Predicted properties Nuclear stability and isotopes The stability of nuclei decreases greatly with the increase in atomic number after curium, element 96, whose half life is four orders of magnitude longer than that of any currently known higher numbered element. All isotopes with an atomic number above 101 undergo radioactive decay with half-lives of less than 30 hours. No elements with atomic numbers above 82 after lead have stable isotopes. Nevertheless, for reasons not yet well understood, there is a slight increase of nuclear stability around atomic numbers 110 to 114, which leads to the appearance of what is known in nuclear physics as the island of stability. This concept, proposed by University of California professor Glenn Seaborg, explains why superheavy elements last longer than predicted. The alpha decay half lives predicted for 291 to 307 UA are on the order of microseconds. The longest alpha decay half life predicted is approximately 485 microseconds for the isotope 294 UA. When factoring in all decay modes, the predicted half lives drop further to only tens of microseconds. Some heavier isotopes may be more stable. Fricke and Weber predicted 315 UA to be the most stable unionenium isotope in 1971. This has consequences for the synthesis of unionenium, as isotopes with half lives below 1 microsecond would decay before reaching the detector, and the heavier isotopes cannot be synthesized by the collision of any known usable target and projectile nuclei. Nevertheless, new theoretical models show that the expected gap in energy between the proton orbitals 2f7 halves filled at element 114 and 2f5 halves filled at element 120 is smaller than expected, so that element 114 no longer appears to be a stable spherical closed nuclear shell, and this energy gap may increase the stability of elements 119 and 120. The next doubly magic nucleus is now expected to be around the spherical 306 UBB element 122, but the expected low half-life and low production cross-section of this nuclide makes its synthesis challenging. Atomic and physical Being the first period 8 element, ununenium is predicted to be an alkali metal, taking its place in the periodic table below lithium, sodium, potassium, rubidium, cesium, and francium. Each of these elements has one valence electron in the outermost s orbital valence electron configuration ns1 which is easily lost in chemical reactions to form the plus 1 oxidation state thus the alkali metals are very reactive elements ununenium is predicted to continue the trend and have a valence electron configuration of h1 it is therefore expected to behave much like its lighter congeners, however, it is also predicted to differ from the lighter alkali metals in some properties. The main reason for the predicted differences between ununenium and the other alkali metals is the spin orbit so interaction. The mutual interaction between the electrons. Motion and spin. The SA interaction is especially strong for the superheavy elements because their electrons move faster at velocities comparable to the speed of light than those in lighter atoms. In ununenium atoms, it lowers the 7p and 8s electron energy levels, stabilizing the corresponding electrons, but two of the 7p electron energy levels are more stabilized than the other four. The effect is called subshell splitting, as it splits the 7p subshell into more stabilized and the less stabilized parts. Computational chemists understand the split as a change of the second azimuthal quantum number L from 1 to 1 half and 3 halves for the more stabilized and less stabilized parts of the 7p subshell, respectively. 
Thus, the outer 8's electron of ununenium is stabilized and becomes harder to remove than expected, while the 7 p 3 halves electrons are correspondingly destabilized, perhaps allowing them to participate in chemical reactions. This stabilization of the outermost s orbital already significant in francium is the key factor affecting ununenium s chemistry, and causes all the trends for atomic and molecular properties of alkali metals to reverse direction after cesium. Due to the stabilization of its outer 8's electron, ununenium s first ionization energy the energy required to remove an electron from a neutral atom is predicted to be 4.53 electron volts, higher than those of the known alkali metals from potassium onward. This effect is so large that unbionium element 121 is predicted to have a lower ionization energy of 4.45 electron volts, so that the alkali metal in period 8 would not have the lowest ionization energy in the period, as is true for all previous periods. Ununenium S electron affinity is expected to be far greater than that of cesium and francium. Indeed, ununenium is expected to have an electron affinity higher than all the alkali metals lighter than it at about 0.662 electron volts, close to that of cobalt 0.662 electron volts and chromium 0.676 electron volts. Relativistic effects also cause a very large drop in the polarizability of ununenium to 169.7 AU. Indeed, the static dipole polarizability alpha d of ununenium, a quantity for which the impacts of relativity are proportional to the square of the element's atomic number, has been calculated to be small and similar to that of sodium, the electron of the hydrogen-like ununenium atom. Oxidized so it has only one electron, Ua118+, is predicted to move so quickly that its mass is 1.99 times that of a non-moving electron, a feature coming from the relativistic effects. For comparison, the figure for hydrogen-like francium is 1.29 and the figure for hydrogen-like cesium is 1.091. According to simple extrapolations of relativity laws, that indirectly indicates the contraction of the atomic radius to around 240 pm, very close to that of rubidium 247 pm, the metallic radius is also correspondingly lowered to 260 pm. The ionic radius of Ua plus is expected to be 180 pm. Ununenium is predicted to have a melting point between 0 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius, thus it may be a liquid at room temperature. It is not known whether this continues the trend of decreasing melting points down the group, as francium. S melting point is known so poorly, having been variously been stated to be around 23 degrees Celsius or 27 degrees Celsius, with both values very close to the cesium value 28.5 degrees Celsius, possibly due to the extreme heat generated by francium's radioactive decay. The boiling point of ununenium is expected to be around 630 degrees Celsius, which is lower than that of all the previous elements in the group, following the downward periodic trend. The density of ununenium has been variously predicted to be between 3 and 4 grams per cc, continuing the trend of increasing density down the group, using the predicted value for francium between 2.8 and 3.0 grams per cc. Chemical the chemistry of ununenium is predicted to be similar to that of the alkali metals, but it would probably behave more like potassium or rubidium than cesium or francium. This is due to relativistic effects, as in their absence periodic trends would predict ununenium to be even more reactive than cesium and francium. This lowered reactivity is due to the relativistic stabilization of ununenium's valence electron, increasing ununenium. S first ionization energy and decreasing the metallic and ionic radii, this effect is already seen for francium. The chemistry of ununenium in the plus one oxidation state should be more similar to the chemistry of rubidium than to that of francium. On the other hand, the ionic radius of the Ua plus ion is predicted to be larger than that of Rb plus, because the seven p orbitals are destabilized and are thus larger than the p orbitals of the lower shells. 
Onionenium may also show the plus 3 oxidation state, which is not seen in any other alkali metal, in addition to the plus 1 oxidation state that is characteristic of the other alkali metals and is also the main oxidation state of all the known alkali metals. This is because of the destabilization and expansion of the 7p3 have spinor, causing its outermost electrons to have a lower ionization energy than what would otherwise be expected. Many ununenium compounds are expected to have a large covalent character, due to the involvement of the 7p3 halves electrons in the bonding. This effect is also seen to a lesser extent in francium, which shows some 6p3 halves contribution to the bonding in francium superoxide. Francium oxide. Thus, instead of ununenium being the most electropositive element, as a simple extrapolation would seem to indicate, cesium instead retains this position, with ununenium. S electronegativity most likely being close to sodium. S 0.93 on the Pauling scale. The standard reduction potential of the UA plus UA couple is predicted to be -2.9 V in the gas phase and at very low temperatures in the condensed phase. The alkali metals form covalently bonded diatomic molecules. The metal-metal bond lengths in these M2 molecules increase down the group from Li2 to Cs2, but then decrease after that to Ua2, due to the aforementioned relativistic effects that stabilize the 8's orbital. The opposite trend is shown for the metal-metal bond dissociation energies. The Ua-Ua bond should be slightly stronger than the Kk bond. From these M2 dissociation energies, the enthalpy of sublimation delta HSUB of ununenium is predicted to be 94 kJ per mole, the value for francium should be around 77 kJ per mole. The UUEF molecule is expected to have a significant covalent character owing to the high electron affinity of ununenium. The bonding in UUEF is predominantly between a 7p orbital on ununenium and a 2p orbital on fluorine, with lesser contributions from the 2s orbital of fluorine and the 8s, 6dz2, and the two other 7p orbitals of ununenium. This is very different from the behavior of S block elements, as well as gold and mercury, in which the S orbitals sometimes mixed with D orbitals are the ones participating in the bonding. The UAF bond is relativistically expanded due to the splitting of the 7p orbital into 7p 1 half and 7p 3 half spinors, forcing the bonding electrons into the largest orbital measured by radial extent. A similar expansion in bond length is found in the hydrides ATH and TSH. The UAO bond should be the weakest of all bonds between gold and an alkali metal, but should still be stable. This gives extrapolated medium-sized adsorption enthalpies minus delta hads of 106 kJ per mole on gold the francium value should be 136 kJ per mole, 76 kJ per mole on platinum, and 63 kJ per mole on silver, the smallest of all the alkali metals, that demonstrate that it would be feasible to study the chromatographic adsorption of ununenium onto surfaces made of noble metals. The enthalpy of adsorption of ununenium on a Teflon surface is predicted to be 17.6 kJ per mole, which would be the lowest among the alkali metals. This information would be very useful for future chemistry experiments on ununenium. The delta HSUB and minus delta HADS values are not proportionally related for the alkali metals, as they change in opposite directions as atomic number increases. See also Extended periodic table Notes References, <references>